Uh, Zit here. I'm gonna show you how to do a flashback on a Crosshair 6 motherboard on AMD Ryzen because some people have problems with it. Right, so first thing you need is one of those fellas, a uh, small USB, whatever. Plug it in, boom. When it's that's that, um, then uh, format the fella with the uh, whatever FAT32 file location, the folder location uh, I usually name it BIOS because that's my uh, stick that uh, I use for uh, flashbacks and tests and such blah 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 it will be deleted so it will be deleted yeah Total complete boom now next step you download the uh, from ASUS website or motherboard whatever place you want um, the BIOS file which is in my case um, the new BIOS from today I was posted for tests so there we go extract the BIOS file obviously straight to the stick Bob. here you go once you have that on your memory stick USB drive, whatever you call it, you need to rename it to C6 H. There we go. Renamed. Right. Next step is reboot your PC. That's why I'm doing it. And it's rebooting slowly. With some of reflection and such. Oh, oh, oh. Takes about a while. Right. Next thing you want to do is enter the BIOS. Well, that's out of focus. Kind of a thing. Come on. Grab us some focus. Right, and we're in a BIOS. Boom, focus is back. Right, though, uh, what I do usually, I uh, have a second pen drive with Windows on it and my other backup, so I just plug it in. Boom, plug in, and you go to the tools. Asus OC profile, and you want to save your working profile. This I, that's what I do. And you press F2, and that saves the current uh, working profile, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, my number three, which is fully stable. Right, F2, and we call it stable. One, one, oh, seven, because that's the BIOS version I'm on, and it's very stable at my, in my case. So that gets saved. To the file, boom. Right, next step, which is what I'm always doing, is a lot optimized defaults. Load it. So that changes all my all your settings to the standard, blah blah blah. I've got a lot of settings, obviously. Boom. So obviously a PC reboots with the default um, settings, I always check if it uh, actually saved. So I enter the BIOS.
and everything is on auto, voltages are on standard, blah blah blah. Works like a dream. So in that case, power down your PC. Boom. And let's get digging. Hi, that's my capture. I'm not gonna be taking my uh, PC out because I've got the, my VR here connected and such. It will be nightmare. So we go ninja and don't know how it's uh, how the light's gonna be on the hip back of here. This is how many USBs I've used. That's why I went with this motherboard. I've got almost all the ports used due to VR and stuff. And see by here by this here. I'm not sure if we're gonna be possible to see it, but there is on the back in the second row um uh, thing called USB port that says on it BIOS. You plug your stick inside of here. Oh, I'm plugging it in. I need to take the dongle out. Because that's blocking it. Uh, sorry, it's going to be kind of a long video, but it's going to be a, at least like step by step one, not off screen and such. Right, see, the stick is uh, plugged in. I don't know if you can already see it. Trying. All right, does it stick? And there you have the two buttons. See the two buttons? I can put the light on. I don't know how, if I can put it. Why I'm recording? Never mind. Never mind. The normal is the what's it? The CMOS uh, reset button, and the next to it that you cannot see because it's dark as hell is the flashback button, which you want to press. So we press that button. And it's starting to flash. There we go. Takes a bit of a time, but sorry about the focus, but this is like typical mobile phone recording and cannot turn the light on now. Oh, can I get a focus here? Focus on this. Go. By the way, if you don't know, on the standard ASUS support the CD, there is the BIOS that the motherboard came with. So if you don't have a pen drive and you like completely break, break, break your board, you can always do a flashback uh, straight from a CD. I did that on my ASUS Maximus 5, I think it was, that bricked itself up. Bling, bling, bling. Continue uh, after the flashing stops, in theory, that's it. So let's press the power button. Oh my gosh. And see if it's a brick or not. Ha! I'm gonna show, I mean, my feature, one of the features, I've got this case or whatever. I can uh, have a peek through this uh, mesh thing without opening side panel on the uh, Q code. 
and it's uh, looking good so far. 56, blah, 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 60. There we go, 27. I don't know if you can see it, because it's dark as hell. Sixty-two, my favorite coat, and we're up, guys. No brick yet again. Aces delivers, so we enter the bios. Obviously, it's been reset, and there we go. The brand new bios has been flashed. Ba -bam. F1 to run the setup. Uh, what I tend to do is take pictures of every single like uh, page here since you cannot load the profile that you saved up and then just uh, retype what I've had fully stable because you know my memory is not as good and that was me I hope the crazy person and that's how you do it takes about uh, 10 minutes more or less I mean would have been short if I wouldn't be uh, recording this, but that's my horizon. And that's how you do a BIOS flashback. If your brick is, if you break your board with a BIOS or whatever gets corrupted, or you want to revert to like very old version of a BIOS and stuff like that, that's how you can do it and save your motherboard, save some time and save yourself money on RMA, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. See you later, guys, uh, on the uh, OCN and over at UK and all the other forums on the raves, blah, blah, blah. <laughs>